Hello, Mr. Lucas here, wishing everybody at Alopecia UK a very happy 15th birthday. I don't mean everyone who works at Alopecia UK is only 15 years old. I mean Alopecia UK is 15 years old. Thank you and congratulations and keep on doing that brilliant work that you do. Um, <coughs> woo! What a woo! nice birthday I message. I think it might be time for cake <laughs> or more cheese. I'm keeping awesome. going. Just I've got, I've got three crackers worth left to go. I will eat this. You will see me continue. Um, now we're going to post a picture of all of our cakes. We're we showing them as well. We're we lifting them. How are we doing this? Yeah. Okay. So um, we challenged um, ourselves um, to bake. The best blue cake. Blue is the charity's main colour, so blue is the colour for our cakes. Let's see how we've all interpreted the theme, blue is the colour. Do you want to show it? their cake first? Oh, are we doing it one at a time? Oh, I can't. Oh. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Everybody. Where's your cake? Yeah. One at a time. Now you want me to go on. You want me to go first? Okay. This is my blue is the colour. Oh, oh wow. that is awesome. That is amazing. That is really cool. Cookie Monster! <laughs> That's really cool. I'm actually nice. fairly proud of it myself. Well done, Naomi. Also very hefty. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Naomi. <laughs> so I went with a, you know, slightly more, you know, standard theme. You can see I've already got too excited and started to cut out a bit already. <laughs> it is blue, it just weirdly looks white on camera. Oh, one of those illusions. Yeah. Am I going yeah. next? Oh, you want yeah. to go next? You can go next, you know. Um, I went, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I went for a musical theme, and it's uh, True Blue, <laughs> 80s Madonna. What? That was Elsa from Frozen. Wow. It's, it's Madonna, there we go. I'm impressed. Yeah. Thanks, so I'm quite pleased with that. It wasn't, I had to eat a load of more blue cheese, I'd be able to make some sense of anything else I could possibly say. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, Tom. Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have this and it has blue icing on, but I have made a blue cake before and I have a. a, a, a no one can see anything. Uh, it's, blue. <laughs> it's blue. No one can see. Believe me, it's a blue cake I've made before. Um, I just ate it. I was too hungry. I couldn't wait for this <laughs> I've got my cupcake instead. Oh, nice. Right. <laughs> can I see my cake? Yes. yes. Why am I sensing a con? Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's been watching Bake Off, right? Look at that! <laughs> yeah, someone not being Jen. <laughs> Jen made that. You I don't that even know what the end of that sentence is, but there's no way Jen made that. <laughs> well, that's up for the uh, Wait, audience to decide we'll have a little voting session vote for your favorite cake see we'll be on next week's edition of uh, <laughs> i was gonna try i was gonna put a picture of everyone's cakes below but it won't seem to let me for some reason so you'll just have to tell us who you think was the best and you're right it was mine uh true blue madonna Come on. <laughs> nice, like a, you know just standard achievable cake <laughs> um, um no. we're on pump I've got ultimate a cracker Oh, oh well done. Um, I've got a confession to make. So no. my parents as within their business have a have um something called Sugarcraft Corner, which is a <laughs> gift, um stuff thing. And my mum's gonna shout at me now for not talking about it properly. Um and mine's a dummy cake and I just decorated it. <laughs> 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 we should have made it like try and eat it, right? Like put what? a knife into it and it's just like yeah, full. Because we're a caterpillar to eat. <laughs> is that a Clive though, or is it a, a is it a Colin or a Clive? A Wiggles. Oh, it's not even. It's neither of them. A Wiggles. Um, can I just draw everyone's attention to something quickly? We've got Chelsea saying Naomi's is best. We've got Simon saying Naomi. We've got uh, Damien saying Naomi. Saying Wendy saying love the Cookie Monster. Uh, you know, we've got we've got some uh, solid solid favourites. I feel like that's because you kind of like planned it. Amy, you all right? I'm on the last cracker. Have you still got more cheese after that? That's it. This is it. 
this is I've, I've done it well, but I've been so loaded with cheese because of because I've had such a small number of crackers. I feel a little bit bad. Well done, Amy. You've taken that one with. That's yeah. This, pride. Is, this is the biggest effort we've seen. I mean. Right. We can just right. find out. I don't think we need to do one because we've, we're a bit behind on time. So. Um. No. No way. Uh, we can go straight no way. to the champion facts, and then we're done. I think. No. Don't forget about it, Dan. You you have to do yours too. I thought she was serious, and I was like, "All right, yeah, for sure." <laughs> and then did it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and the penny didn't drop. I was like, "Hang on a second, something." <laughs> Amy wouldn't allow it. She's fucking no. a soldiering through that. <laughs> Damien, I think Amy just threw up. <laughs> She's got her Alapis UK bucket on, on brand. Last bit, and then I'm back in the room. But let's go to Jen's prawn, please. Jen, tell us more about your prawns. <laughs> oh, we'll just leave it there. I think we'll just not. When you laugh if it became your new favourite thing, Jen. You're like, oh, you're not a fancy. I fancy some prawns. Like, it's Guys, like a new thing. I'm a hero. You Can we just hero. all admit I'm a hero? Yeah. Well done, Amy. Yeah, well done, Amy. Well done, Amy. How I got through that without being sick is beyond me. Thank Amy. you to all of Amy's friends and family for being so loving and generous and <laughs> <laughs> loving. <laughs> right, Jen. He's watching tell us... and is very proud of Amy. Tell mm. us about your prawns. I believe there's more than one prawn, is there? So, yeah. So we're skipping out that next week. We've gone straight to the thing. Um, so basically, I um will eat either this prawn depending on what we get um because it doesn't look as bad as this prawn which i had to cook today <laughs> yeah maybe i'm maybe i'm getting a bit more familiar i couldn't i couldn't look at this <laughs> well if you named it or something you're on that kind of basis yeah. so, what, so what price jenna we put in this on these prawns um, i mean you've seen how generous my family and friends were to well to punish me i think <laughs> I think if we get a hundred, I'll eat one of them. All right, that's fair because that's in line with uh, everything else we've been doing. And I mean, I'll, I'll eat that one for a grand because it's me. I knew she was going to say a grand if I said it. Yeah, right, then. right. Let me just make a check on the totals. I mean, I'll be honest, Jen. A grand seems steep, and that seems unlikely, but you never know. Let's let's see what pans out. Let me just. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that one. And then... Okay. Right. Um, just for sure. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's see, obviously, what we can do. Um, so in order to um, round off this uh, live stream and this session and the food fair challenges, um, a reminder of how you can donate. I feel like I've, I've got back again now, guys, after that absolute torture. <laughs> You're in your second win. You, you did uh, yep. die a little bit on us there for a while. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise I was going to be eating 100 grams of blue cheese. Um, <laughs> you can donate via text using the text code behind me. Uh, text AUK5 to 70085 to donate £5 to Alopecia UK, or you can change the 5 to any whole amount up to £20. Text costs the price of your donation plus the cost of a standard rate message. Alternatively, you can visit our appeal page, uh, which Naomi will put in the comments below. Now over to Naomi for another Perfect Champions update. Yay! So, final recap for this uh, final session of our live stream. This is Alopecia UK's birthday bash to celebrate the charity's 15th birthday. At the beginning of September, we launched our 15 for 15 campaign with over 100 birthday champions have helped us to smash our original fundraising target of £15,000, which is now over £30,000 raised, which is just amazing. Um, so, this is a section where we celebrate those birthday champions. So we've got a, a quick fact for you um, in that, sorry, one last time, champion facts, champion facts, yeah, <laughs> champion facts, with the jingle. Um, yes, we've got a really lovely uh, target to share, really lovely fact to share here, which is that 63% of our champions have hit their fundraising target, which is just a massive, huge well done to everyone who got involved. Um, it's been incredible to see so many of our birthday champions smash their targets. Huge congratulations. Thanks to every single one of our champions, no matter how much you've raised, you've all contributed to an amazing campaign this September. And we couldn't be more grateful for your support and proud of your efforts, including all the awareness that you've been raising. Um, so I'm going to send it over to Tom for those final list of thank yous for those champions. So we've got 
Ranjit, Rebecca, Ruth, Sam, Samantha, Samantha, Sarah, 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 Sarah Sophie, Terence, Thomas, Tony, Wendy, Zoe, Zoe, Zach, Zara, and just Zoe. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's, that's all of them. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for that. So time for our final catch up with what some of the birthday champions have been up to. Um, firstly, we have Samantha, who's been creating 15 pieces of artwork and allowing herself just 15 minutes to do each of these. She says she usually spends hours or days on a single piece of artwork, so it's a challenge for her to make herself work so quickly. We've been so impressed that me, Jen, and Amy have all made donations for pictures. This is, I don't know if you can see, here's my one that I purchased earlier. Nice. <laughs> Um, and we'll include a link to her Instagram account in the comments below as she still has some pictures up for grabs and she's very nearly reached her fundraising target. Um, we've also got Sam, who's another one of our top fundraisers. She has been raising awareness of alopecia and telling her personal story on social media as well as running 15 miles throughout September. Sam has just hit her final target of a whopping 1,500 pounds. So huge well done to Sam. Next up, we've got Tommy. Tommy's mom, Sarah, has been fundraising on her Facebook page and she's planning to uh, uh, planning a wear a crazy hat to work day. Her employer, Barclays, will match fund what she's raised, which is brilliant, and they've already raised a huge two, uh, £265. Next up, we have Sydney. Uh, she is a familiar face at Alopecia UK, now 11 years old. We first met Sydney at our first Alton Towers event, aged just four. This September, she is cycling 150 kilometers with her dad, Dave, and is trying out 15 different face and head paint artworks, courtesy of her very talented mum, Sarah. So far, they've raised over 464 pounds. So well done to everyone. And we also have uh, Cherie has been continuing her awareness efforts on social media this month and went to work without her wig for the first time on the 15th of September. And uh, we're really pleased to welcome her in for a chat now, too. She's coming. Are you there? Hi. Hi. Oh, might need to unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes we can. Oh, perfect. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. We're a little bit behind. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> Hiya. No, that's okay. I've enjoyed watching. No, oh, good. <laughs> even, the, even the cheese? Yeah, I was watching your face. <laughs> I couldn't eat that either, though. Oh. That would be like one of the worst things. Yeah, I'm still feeling it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Saving that bucket, uh, the use of the bucket yeah. for the end, I think. <laughs> um, nice to have you with us. Um, just to take things off, so can you tell us a little bit about what type of alopecia you have and, and when it started for you? Yeah, so um, I've got alopecia universalis um, and I've had that for about two years now, um, but I have had alopecia for a total of about four years. It started off as just alopecia areata. Um, so just the patches um, and then about a year later I actually had full regrowth um, and then I had a patch again a year later and then within a month I'd lost all of my hair and a month later my lashes and my eyebrows and every other hair on my body so it's been a bit of a um, mix of everything really. Wow, wow and in what ways has that impacted on, on your life do you think? Um, I would say now massively positively um, it's helped me be so much more confident than I think I ever would have been with my hair, which is such an odd thing to say now. Um, but um, it's just given me like a whole new outlook on life, um, made me really care about the things that actually matter. And I mean, obviously at first it's really, really difficult. Um, but when I look back now, um, I realise how far I've sort of come on a journey. Um, but yeah, it's definitely changed me, but in a good way. Yeah. And you, you had a really interesting uh, birthday challenge, didn't you? What, tell us a bit more about what you did for your... Yeah, so I really wanted to do something that was like completely out of my comfort zone. 
So I actually usually wear wigs all the time. Um, I would say it's a bit of a safety blanket, I suppose. Um, and I've never ever even thought about not wearing hair to work because that's just normal. It's part of getting dressed in the morning. It's part of getting ready for the day. Um, and it's just somewhere where I would feel quite vulnerable without my hair. Um, I work in um, a jewellery store, so it's very customer facing, um, speaking and interacting with other people all day. Um, and also just regular customers, people that see me with my hair all the time, like my colleagues that see me with my hair all the time. Um, so it was definitely out of my comfort zone. So yeah, I went to work. I didn't take my wig with me. I just literally went without my hair. Um, and yeah, I just, just went for it. <laughs> And, and how did it feel to do that? And then how do people react to you? As well? um, it was, well, leading up to it, it was scary. Um, the thought of it was really scary. Um, and then once I was there, it was actually okay. Um, I definitely think the thought of it was worse than actually doing it. Yeah. I mean, once I was there, I kind of forgot that I didn't have my hair on. So yeah. it was actually okay. I wasn't, and I didn't receive any funny looks or any comments or anything, anything negative. I had, I had a couple of like my regular customers say to me like, where's your hair? And I was just like, oh, like I have alopecia and sort of explained it, but that was quite nice to actually be able to talk about it. The reason I did it is because I wanted to spark conversation with people mm. about alopecia, because it can be such a taboo subject to talk about. Um, and actually one that probably I don't always know how to approach in a conversation, so actually it was really good to have those conversations in person because I'm very vocal like on my social media about my alopecia and I'll go bald on my social media all the time but to actually go out in person was a whole different ball game. Mm. And so you touched there on your social media how has that been and how have people reacted on there when with the awareness stuff you've been doing I think you mentioned this. Yeah really good um when I first so when I first sort of told the world about my alopecia was a couple of years ago now um but I decided to make a separate Instagram um to sort of talk about it because I really wanted to just post about it all the time and I wanted to raise awareness and I knew that as soon as I lost my hair I had to turn it into something positive it had to be worthwhile just that was kind of my way of coping with it I think um and but I don't really post on my like personal social media, not because I'm worried about doing that, just because I don't think to. So this month, I've really made an effort to post on like my personal Facebook and my personal Instagram, mm. um, just just to reach more people, really. Yeah, and, and yeah, reach those people that maybe don't have that same understanding and, and, and yeah, definitely. Um, and so do people react positively on there? Yeah, I I'm. I mean, it's odd to say that I feel lucky that I haven't had any sort of like negativity, but you kind of almost expect it with this kind of thing. Um, but I haven't had anything. Everyone's been so lovely, so supportive. Every time I've fundraised for alopecia, I've had so much support from family, friends and just like complete strangers or just people that like, are friends of friends. And it's just amazing, really. Yeah, fantastic. So, so how overall has the experience of being a birthday champion been for you? Oh, it's been so much fun. Like, I'm so proud to say to everyone, oh, I'm a birthday champion. And they're like, oh, what's that? And like, they're really interested. Um, so, yeah, it's been really good. It's been nice to be able to be part of something where there are so many of us yeah. getting together um, to raise money, especially at the moment when we can't actually be together, but we've all joined forces and we're all raising all this money and all the awareness as well, which is just as important. Yeah, it's been, it's been brilliant to see when we search the hashtag, um, hashtag AUK1515, have I done that the right way around? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't know it. Um, searching through and seeing all the posts is, is, is brilliant to see everybody getting on board. Yeah, with it. it's nice to have that hashtag as well, or even just like that hashtag alopecia awareness, month, because I remember I searched that. Yeah. That was one of the things that I searched just to find someone that was like in the same boat as I was and just to find that I wasn't alone. And even when you search it now like all the posts from like years ago still come up and it's just it's so nice to see how many people have like put themselves out there just to raise awareness yeah it's a good it's a good way to find um people isn't it and uh yeah, yeah. um so thank you 
um, for coming and chatting with us. And thank you for being a birthday champion. Um, and, and it isn't even the first time that you've, you've fundraised for us. So thank you for coming back to do more. <laughs> to... Oh, nice. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and, and it's been lovely to have you here with us. And um, but we'll let you go on. I think I was going to say we've got more birthday messages. We don't have more birthday messages. I think it's just we're getting to the end now and there's no more food for these challenges to do. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Come on now. We've got oh, more slides. You know there's a couple more that. slides left. <laughs> right. I just poured myself a drink to celebrate. <laughs> hey. Wash the taste of cheese gone. Yeah, wash away the cheese. <laughs> we'll let you go, Sheree. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so nice much. You. Take care. Bye. 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 We are getting towards the end. Uh, okay. We have we have run over, but we were always going to run over, weren't we? That's part of it, I'm afraid. So you, you got you got more than your 150 minutes from us. <laughs> um, but yeah, Tom, what's coming in on the comments? Well. It's looking, it's looking very, uh, I was going to make some kind of fishy pun, but we're not going to go there. Um, <laughs> just, just absolutely blown away by the engagement tonight. Everyone's been really, um, some amazing, really nice comments, like cheering all of us on. It's been really good. Um, obviously, some of you guys connecting with like the people who have been joining um, from the video side who you haven't maybe seen before or um, kind of spoke to. It's been really nice. Everyone's been really super supportive. We've got loads of messages there for um Cherie and about a story um jen <laughs> damien's comment I, I, damien i just like my favorite favorite things looking for him <laughs> seeing our comments uh jen uh you feel better when the prawn is gone I like that. nice i like that it's, it's on one um sarah has raised over two thousand two hundred pounds so far for the brave shave on saturday that's amazing wow crazy um uh lorraine is saying uh what a great evening thank you very much for that um wendy says she's enjoyed it all it's about to get better uh <laughs> just amazing thank you everyone so much for the comments tonight it's been great absolutely fantastic and i'm interested to see what the next section yeah, of the stream is going to be <laughs> We're all waiting. Jen, Jen's looks so happy. I can't, I can't think last time I've seen this. Jen. I'm going to be able to touch it, to be honest. Jen, we got, we got 100 pounds in. You can eat the little prawn. Oh, well, okay. Come on, you can do it. The, li the little ones. Don't only be like... shellfish. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Yes, <laughs> Don't be shellfish. I can't, I can't just do the puns. Oh, yes. Tom, that's lo that was lovely, that. You yeah, that's, that's I mean, your... Me and Damien are on the same wavelength at Pumps. Yeah. He, can, he can come again, right? We'll invite yeah. him back. We'll get, we'll get Damien on next time. He can yeah, be your yeah. wingman. Oh, we can have a pun off. It'll be the great. Puns. So, Jen, let's see the little prawn, the little £100 prawn. <laughs> I don't want to touch it. Uh, come on, down the hatch. Hold your nose if you need to. You can do it. Look, Jen, it's for charity. Somebody's just eating 100 grams of blue cheese she didn't want to eat. <laughs> Guys, there is it's still like time to see the big prawn. Come on, Jen, you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, turns out she might not be able to do it. You can do it. Come We've on, just Jen. got to believe. 15 years of this charity. 15 years. All the stuff we've done. The texture is that. This is the worst. All the stuff we've done over the years. We've achieved so much. This is the pinnacle. <laughs> this prawn. We've done it to see the big prawn. Come on. <laughs> um, the big the big prawn was asking a lot. I mean, Jen set the bar high, didn't she? She was asking a, a thousand pounds. Thousand I, kinda, pounds. I, 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 I mean, feel, I kind of feel like the way we laughed at your cheese. I kind of feel yeah. like it's a the, great. If you, if you looked at the the in, like the the way that the the funds went up between the sessions, I'm afraid between none of the sessions we got anywhere near a thousand pounds increased <laughs> each no. time. Oh, you're okay. Oh, that so, is. <laughs> It would really take a lot, some you know, to, to get to the point where Jen would have to go back to the big prawn. You know. What there. about if we reach it before the end of the month? I mean, Tom, we don't have to wait that long, because I've remembered <laughs> all the offline fundraising oh, that we've not put into our campaign what? total yet. So you know oh. I've just been doing a little bit of work behind the scenes, and I've updated our grand total for the end of the live stream, and it takes us. Two. Emil, you only got that one for sure. I know you did, Jen. I know you did. I, I mean, it then, innit? 
<laughs> Jen, you know, we've known each other for a number of years now, and this is going to break my heart to, to tell you that the fundraising total now, at the end of live stream, and I'd like to say well done to everybody that has been involved. Thank you to everybody that's donated tonight. But Jen, it's £34,397. <laughs> it takes it way beyond the £1,000. I've added an extra £3,325 to the total. Jen, I'm really sorry you've got to eat that prawn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All we can say is, Jen, <laughs> is your shrimp the best. Here's everyone. <laughs> nice one, Damien. Yeah. <laughs> to Jen, <laughs> the prawn. <laughs> the prawn making the ultimate <laughs> sacrifice here. We appreciate yeah. you. Look at it. Look at no, it. Jen, it's a prawn. <laughs> Look at it. It's got... <laughs> 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 Off with its head, I don't says know Jackie. I'm not allowed to do this. <laughs> right, so, so take it in your hands. You have to touch it with your fingers and just break its head off. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> and then wear its little legs and it's too slippy. <laughs> Use the. Oh, <laughs> 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 This is giving me flashbacks to the video she sent out earlier. Yeah. Is there Jen. anyone? In, is there anyone in? Is there anyone that could help you peel it, Jen? Is your housemate in? Push it upstairs. You can do it. You can. You, you can <laughs> actually have to be like brutal with it. It's not just going to come off of its own accord. Oh, you want my head off? Okay. <laughs> right off. I'm genuinely considering being vegetarian. Actually, I, I don't. Yeah. Oh. Uh, even Tom's hating this. It was oh, annoying. It's just like... Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, God. I'm sorry. The, the hardest bit of this is just... It's just well, touching it and then it's going to be having to put it in my mouth. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and there is that bit that you're then going to have to eat it. The so. worst part was uh, deconstructing. I want eating it. <laughs> Kelly, how do you think this compares to the butter and ketchup? I mean, I do feel sorry for Jen. If you don't like doing that, that's... Yeah. Yeah. I personally love garlic prawns, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry, maybe, you just, maybe you just need a bit of garlic on it, Jen. Oh, yeah, condiments will save the same, of course. Garlic mayo, garlic mayo saves everything. This might be the, the night that we discover I've got a shellfish allergy. Oh, don't say that. You've already had a prawn. You, you know, you're, you're way down. On... You've already had one. Yeah. But, but like, is it, does it matter if it's got this skin stuff on? I know I sound stupid. Oh, yeah. Like, is that all right? I don't know. We can't see it, Jen. Give us a close. Like, That's fine. Get it eaten. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Like the whole thing. Is it better or worse than the other one? Yeah, how, how does it compare taste-wise? It looks it's more bad. enjoyable than the other one. No. <laughs> no, Guys, I like prawns. You won't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I said would happen, Tom. I said, but after all this, Jen's going to come away going, oh, yeah, I really like prawns. Yeah, she's I really like it. I fancy a prawn salad for me. I just love prawns now. I just ever since that night. <laughs> Prawn um, cocktail crisps, I'm at anything prawn. Has anyone actually cut themselves a piece of cake? Oh, no, I should do. Yeah. No, nah, the prawn's well, kind of put me off. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, I mean, I think I've eaten like a lot of that. I mean, look, <laughs> guys, blue on the inside, it matches my uh, backdrop. <laughs> She's got a green I screen have... cake. I I have... It's actually blue. Look. Is it actually blue? Look at that. That's mad. That is good. I tried to make mine blue and it, it didn't work. It just came up brown. I think, I think, oh, I'd have to touch it again. Oh, I'd... <laughs> I'm sorry that I've eaten it, but I don't want to touch it again. Shall I, um, shall I draw things? Well done, Jen. Well done, Jen. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for all the donations and all the fundraising and <laughs> you know, Amy's cheeky little... Uh... <laughs> Sincerity uh, everywhere you can... A little curveball I threw at the end there, Jen. <laughs> Thought you'd got away with it. Um, no, thank you for everyone for joining tonight. I don't know if anyone stayed with us the whole time. If you have, you've got patience there, I think. <laughs> um, if you've just joined us, um, we're, just, we're just 
you've, you've missed it all. You've missed all the fun. Where have you been? Um, we weren't sure how to end the live stream, um, but last was it last weekend, Jen, you challenged me to write a cheesy little poem to, yeah. to finish things off. Um, and I did, and then I, sh oh, I had such problems with PowerPoint, that, <laughs> so oh, this will turn out like I don't know, but um, we thought it'd be a nice way to end. It's a cheesy little poem, uh, which I hope you'll watch with us, indulge with us for the next three minutes, uh, whilst we take you through 15 years of Alopecia UK. Get your glasses ready. An Alopecia UK poem, where do I start? I'll try to cover 15 years and speak from the heart. It all began with Vicky when she was 19. Diagnosed with alopecia, what on earth did it mean? Struggling to find answers, not knowing where to turn, not much information from doctors, there must be more to learn. With help from her sister, an alopecia website was started, a project they realized was not for the faint hearted getting information from experts, doctors and textbooks, opened a forum to reach others, social media and Facebook. The more you offer, the more people want, the demand clearly there. There needed to be a charity for when you lose your hair. From website to charity, the logical next move, papers and legal work, the charity commission to approve. Lots of work from Vicky's family, get things off the ground. Now if you lost your hair, there was support to be found. Support, awareness, research, the aims of AUK. Support for the here and now, to make sure people are okay. Awareness to educate others, public, professionals and more. Research into treatments, future hopes for a cure. Looking back over 15 years, so many reasons to be proud of what this charity has achieved it's time to shout loud a website jam-packed with advice all the things you need to know treatments wigs supporting kids tips to help when feeling low a network of uk support groups spread right across the land bringing people together a listening ear a helping hand large-scale national events our Liverpool flash mob to start. Alton Towers quickly followed, and our first big weekend just months apart. From being led by volunteers for that first important decade, it was time to employ some staff so further changes could be made. It's amazing the difference two staff members could make. Passion, the commitment, a lot of hard graft it would take. Attending conferences to raise awareness, with nurses and doctors from dermatology. Helping to improve patient experience, we created an education module for GPs. Improving support for children, nine groups for kids now meet, for positivity, fun and laughter, inspirational role models to greet. More and more fundraising, a very positive sign, allowing us to take on a new staff member and introduce a helpline. The events they continued, six Alton Tower trips, five big weekends across the UK, sharing experiences, picking up tips. Bringing us to today and an even bigger staff team, investing funds in research, no longer a dream. Over £100,000 put into projects, helping to get studies off the ground. Alopecia UK at the forefront of answers to be found. 15 years of Alopecia UK, and we hope there will be more. We want to be here for as long as we're needed for. For support, awareness, research, our aims we have stated. Raise your glass to Alopecia UK. 15 years to be celebrated. Beautiful. And, and we're done, and that's a wrap. <laughs> that is a wrap. Thank Anything you very else much. to say? <laughs> it feels all emotional. Yeah. Aww. 
What a yeah. journey, what a journey. What a journey. Thank, a a yeah. final thank you to everyone and anyone that has ever supported Alopecia UK over the past 15 years. There's a lot of people who are involved in the charity's history um, and past, present and future. Um, everyone, it's, a, it's always a team effort. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of hard work that has gone in to the last 15 years and hopefully there will be many more. So cheers and happy 15th birthday, Alopecia UK. Thanks everyone for joining us. Good night. Cheers everyone. Good night. Good night. <laughs>